So, hello, welcome to Capital Audio Fest. So watch the whole video, but there's a part when I talk to Just Audio, they have their own channel. I think they're right at 83,000 subscribers. So if we collectively can get them to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, they're gonna give away a $1,000 gift card amongst some other prizes. So fill out the Google form, go subscribe to their channel, and some lucky person's gonna win a thousand dollar gift card and some other people are gonna, well, win some other stuff. We have our new amp. Um, it is a class AB. It's designed by me and my buddy Mike Zafudo. It is our newest amp that we've been working on for a while. We also have a case that is created by O'Neill's Custom Designs. We worked on this actually over a few years of talk, but to build this was about six to eight months of work. Um, but yeah, we've kind of had this design, you know, for for a. A, a decent amount of time in our minds how we were gonna do it. Right now we're rating about 50 to 100 per channel. Uh, so Is that eight ohms? It's at eight ohms, correct. It's gonna have XLR inputs, RCA inputs. Uh, it's gonna have two RCA inputs, one that's a switchable phono in or RCA. It has pre-outs that you can run to a main in. So that way you can actually run it uh, into your EQ, any kind of external uh, device, and then come back in. Shooting for early 2023, um, we're gonna, you know, when we get back from the show, we're gonna start talking about full-scale production. All made in the USA. I'm Lenny from Just Audio in Baltimore. You can see us on YouTube at Just Audio. And we specialize in vintage hi-fi. So everybody loves classic hi-fi. And we have on for display at Capital Audio Fest these beautiful Pioneer spec set, the four, the one, the EQ, and the tuner, along with a nice reverb, because everybody loves a nice reverb. And these Pioneer speakers, the HPM 100s that were dealer editions that I just got in New Orleans, Louisiana, on one of our recent videos. So be sure to check us out on YouTube at Just Audio. We flew to New Orleans just to get these because they were so mint. And then me and my son drove back. So we have a four part series coming out of us driving through the country and stopping at different hi-fi stores and record stores and having a lot of fun. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Are you super gonna, cool. Are you gonna uh, repair one of my vintage receivers? Oh, for sure. We're gonna for repair. Free, right? Oh man, we'll, oh, we'll figure Deeply something out. Right. Yeah, we'll get you hooked up. Right. This guy, Cheap Audio Man, awesome. We're having fun at Capital Audio Fest. We're here, we're gonna get something even more special than just restoring a vintage receiver right. for you. All right. Get something special for you, you. yeah. Uh, we are All Right Vinyl. Uh, my business partner's not here today, but uh, we <clears throat> specialize in Japanese pressings from the, say, 70s, 80s. Yeah. Uh, primarily heavy metal, but yeah. I do have a lot of pop and rock yeah, uh, I stuff got my, over uh, here. My Metallica shirt. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm a huge Metallica fan. Nice. Well, yeah. I got, I got all four, I got the first four all Japanese pressings. Where are you guys based out of? Uh, Northern Virginia, Manassas. Okay. Yeah. You have a storefront then? No. Okay. So uh, operate online. online. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, what's the What's the website again? Uh, it is. Uh, we actually use Facebook, so it's facebook.me uh, slash All Right Vinyl. Cool. There's a card right there too if you want to grab one. So my name is Jared Dunkerson. I'm CEO of Black Ice Audio and partner 
with Jamie DeMarco. Jamie DeMarco, new partner to Black Ice Audio. Nice, uh, what do you guys make? So we make vacuum tube amplifiers, pre-amplifiers, CD players, DACs, headphone amplifiers, and we're playing around with servers now too, so. Very cool, yep. where, where is the main app manufactured at? Uh, it is made in our factory, actually. We own the factory in Shanghai. Okay, And cool. it's sent here, and Jared takes it apart, makes sure it all works, QCs it, makes any corrections here in Maryland, all our services in Maryland. Um, any need you have comes from Maryland. So we support the product with a five-year warranty then after that, so you're not gonna be left in the dust ever if you have a problem. Has there been an issue with like tube availability and things like that? I would say right at the beginning of the conflict uh, in Ukraine, yeah, the uh, the tubes coming from Russia was, um, was a little spotty, but it seems like it's starting to work itself out now. Cool. Uh, we're, we're getting our tubes, so. Awesome. Yep, gear's still going out the door. We also have a stock of tubes, so yeah. if a customer had a problem with the tube, you're not gonna be on your own to order it. We'll, we'll make sure you're covered and we can get a tube in your amplifier. Cool. What's yeah. the what's the price range on your products? About $350 all the way up to just under nine, yeah. okay. 9,000. And, so. well, and, then, and then if people would like custom upgrades, the sky's the limit, basically. Jared can put anything you want into the amplifier too. But we're trying to make this an, an option for every new person wanting to try tubes at this point. We want new audio files. Cool. We don't- Where do people want, find you at? Uh, www.blackiceaudio.com and you can guys will deal directly with us. Okay, blackiceaudio.com. Yes. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. Right? Cool. Neil Blanchard Designs. I design uh, speakers and uh, speaker mods. I have um, a Sony SSCS5 modification that is uh, full crossover or you get uh, choices of, of lower uh, expense versions and physical bracing. Yeah, I have an ELAC BS41 mod that is similar uh, but a little easier to pull off and I'm working on a uh, Emotiva B1 Plus. I'm selling plans, mod manual, instruction manual for, for doing the mods yourself. Um, they're selling for $20 on my webpage. Do you have any speaker designs from the ground up? Oh yes, I have uh, the one that I'm selling is my third design. It's called MLTL6 Mass Loaded Transmission Line with a six inch woofer. And the transmission line is really the key. It uses the air as a column behind the woofer and loads up the, um, the base. And so you end up with a, t a fundamental frequency that's lower than the driver's uh, FS, which is um, 35 for the driver FS and it's uh, the speaker's tuned to 32 Hertz. How big is it? It's uh, 21 and a half inch high, nine inch wide, and 16 inch deep uh, stand mount speaker. So a mid-sized uh, stand mount. I'm Eric Smith with Fidelity Imports, and we import uh, Q Acoustics, and that's what we're, we're showing in this room today. Right now we're demoing the C50s in the Concept Series, uh, and over on this side, uh, static right now, we have the 3050i. So the 3050i's, $1,000 a pair, and the C50s are $3,000 a pair. What other equipment do you have in here? So in this room we're also showing a new line of Italian product from M2 Tech, uh, we also have our rat company called Neo High End. Uh, M2 Tech, they're making uh, preamp DACs, power supplies, amplification, so all the stuff to drive the Q. Okay, any streamer in here or anything? Uh, so right now we are using Inuos. Uh, we uh, have some friends at Inuos that uh, supplied all of our rooms with streamers, so we're very thankful for them. All right, what you, what's, the, what's your favorite Q acoustic product? My favorite Q acoustic is right now going to be the C50. Okay. Uh, and the C30. Uh, I'm a big fan of the concept series um, because the step up from the, the standard, I mean, obviously all the entry level Q stuff is, is fantastic, 
but the build quality on the concept series. So when you look at that cabinet, and they've got that gel core inside to make the cabinet super inert. Um, and every time I play these things, it, for me, it's just like putting on my favorite pair of jeans, just super comfortable, super great, easy to listen to, work in any room, work with any kind of sound, whether it's a great recording or if it's not recorded that great, and it always just sounds great. And the Concept 30, you come in at what, about 1100? Yeah, uh, and those, w depends on if you get the stands or not. We always recommend using the stands. Yeah, the word I'm looking for is isolated. Isolated. So yeah, you screw those right into the bottom and then there's an isolation between the stand and the speaker itself.